bonjour, whore, bonjour. Zero walls. The time has come, yet again, for you to lip sync for your life. Part two. Let's chop it up. Sorry, girl, but it's a chop. Chop. Sweetness, pumpkin pie, chitlin, my little yedlin, my little babies. Oh, it's been a long time. I should have left you without a dope beat to step to, to step to, step to, step to. Oh, it's been four months, baby. But I'm back, yeah. Oh, I'm back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! I'm back. Honey, girl, can you believe the things? This is why we here. This is why we back. This right here. This right here, honey. This right here, sweetie. This here, honey. This here, sweetie. Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. Baby, shout out to King Jobs, bro. Shout out to King Jobs. You bestie thing. Shout out to you. you bestie thing. Breaking the story. Scooping the story, honey. Putting it out for the world, for the girls to see. Baby, to be honest, first of all, Daryl, you get all tens for busting slob with that chocolatey man, bro. I don't know where you found this chocolatey man. I don't know where she came from. But it's tens, honey. Cross the motherfucking board, bro. Oh, that man was sexy. Where did you find her? Where did you find thee? And girl, don't tell me it was little Jack the Grind or something like that. I'm going to be very pissed with you. You just better have a little bit more high caliber than that. That's that. All right. Now, where did you find this girl? Because that thing is sickening and she does not look like the last bottom that was in your first item film that you put out and didn't credit and cite your, uh, your co-stars. Um, next time you put out another movie, honey, to, to cite your co-stars. Who are these co-stars? We want to know who the people is. Who else is the folks in the movie? All right, you keep putting out these movies. You're not putting the people in at the credits when they roll. Who are these girls? We want to know. All right, inquiry minds, we want to know. Now, honey, baby cakes, pumpkin pie. When I say I'm living, oh, I'm living for it. I think that is beautiful. Daryl, you look happy, girl. Oh, you look happy. You look happy to embrace that piece of butch, that piece of butch queen, that piece of church tray. Oh, honey. Oh, you was, oh, you was in love, girl. Now, before we go any further, Miss Thing, I need you to like, share, and subscribe. Go on and take care of that. Dang, Bobby, we're gonna take it here, man. Take it here. Thank you, honey. Thank you. Thank you. I'm here for it. The problem is the circumstances in which children receive all the information, Daryl. That's the problem, baby cakes. The problem is how the babies got the info. It was leaked. From your close friends, when you're looking at the video, when you look at the video, when you play it back, <clears throat> the video looks like it was played through a story. The green light is on, the video was played through a story, and it was shared, and his close friends on Instagram is what we can perceive, from what we can see. Um, and someone allegedly from that close friends list took that posting and shared it. And thus outing Daryl Walls in the young man. Or, I don't know if the young man was out, but he put everybody business out there on Front Street. But uh, everybody can see it. Okay, but, uh, now, speaking of that girl, if you thought that the first video was blurry, Daryl said, I'm going to make sure that this one, I'm going to fix the resolution. Make sure the girls can catch it. Okay? Make sure they know it. You ain't no denying. I'm a, uh, 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 you know, when I, it is me. Yeah, baby, that's you. And he said, it's that proof positive. It's right in your face. That's me, I, 
Do it over. He didn't edit it out. It wasn't pixelated out. You couldn't see him. It was grainy. I can't tell. It's for all those girls in the comment section like that's not him. Oh, you couldn't see it. He made sure you could see it this time. And so, yeah, that's on you. With that being said, Rob, this is a really odd situation because the story is not about Daryl Walls. Yeah, Daryl did a lot of things in this. Like, Daryl did a lot of weird stuff instead of just showing up authentically as who he was from Jump. Um, granted, Daryl never said anything really about the situation. He allowed everyone else to look stupid for him. He allowed everybody else to lie for him. He didn't need to say nothing. For what? If y'all gonna do all the talking. Y'all know better than me the daddy talking and then he bitching and whining talking to motherfucking Larry Reed and and then and, and the sisters is doing motherfucking shit saying a whole lot of bullshit and everybody just lying for him and just getting on and carrying, right? Everybody carrying for him. So he didn't need to do anything. He didn't say anything and he did it. And here we are now. And he's making those girls eat their words. Yeah, they're all bad and zero at this time. Um, you know, I it's 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 a conversation that is less about Daryl and more about a lot of other things that it signifies. I think that people got lost in looking at this and in making statements. Like I was listening to, I won't even say his name, I was listening to someone else discuss the matter. And one of the things that they mentioned was like, you know, it's Daryl's business. Um, it's none of our business. And Daryl isn't a church leader or official. So, you know, he's not one of the people that said that, uh, being same gender loving or same sex loving is wrong. That's not his message and ah, ah, ah. And I'm like, granted, that's true. But that's not the conversation. The conversation is that Daryl works in a religious sector. And this is his job. And so part of that job to, when in ministry, they have moral expectations. I don't know what they call them. I don't remember what they call them. Girl, it's been a long time since I've been in the church doing things. I don't remember all the teeth, but anyhow, it's something, um, and they have these moral codes, and it is obvious, and then in most, in most churches, part of that is, um, you know, uh, I guess, I don't know how to word it, but not affiliating, I guess, with same sex, or, or not participating in same sex activity, or homosexuality, or whatever, um, part of it is that, and so, you have someone who is obviously, blatantly, um, underneath that expectation, below that expectation, then this is his job, right? So the question is, does Daryl Wolfs continue to work? Does he continue to work? Um, and that's where the church is truly probably, is more than likely going to find the divide. That's where the divide is going to be. It's not about Daryl being able to be who he wants to be. Yeah, he can. He is. He did thing is now, what is now the response from you all? Because if you allow Daryl to continue to work in ministry, then that suggests that, young, that anybody else that is same-sex loving or same-gender loving or part of the LGBTQ community or whatever is any of the difference in opposition to what the literature of the Bible says, that you can come and you can also work in ministry is what that suggests. And so it also suggests that then the messages that are preached in church need to change when it comes to the idea and the topic of homosexuality. Kim Burrell can't say, you going to hell, and you this, that, and the other. If you put another pussy in your face, if you bust another dick off in your mouth, yeah, you can't say that no more. His peers. The message has changed now. To something inclusive and something a little bit more about love. Now, while I'm mentioning Kim Burrell, let's do that right here. Because the girls went into a frenzy, went into a tailspin, honey. Old girl, the girls was losing it. Was spiteful when Kim Burrell said what she said at the church. And don't get me wrong, what she said was some evil, nasty, hateful stuff towards the girls. But she is empowered to say these things by the literature that they believe. And so if the literature suggests what she's stating, then why are you upset with her? For saying what she said when she is empowered by the literature. She just repeat what the fuck that shit said. And so if that shit say that the homosexuals, yeah, she put a little, she, she added a little sauce on it. She made it ugly. She made it nasty. She put some stank on it. 
Nonetheless, the literature isn't that forgiving when it comes to this topic either. You got scriptures in Corinthians, you got scriptures in Romans, you got scriptures in, in Leviticus, you got scriptures that talk about homosexuals and what the life looks like, what the afterlife looks like, and them not inheriting the kingdom of heaven. You have that language happening there. And so when she goes in front of people and she says what she says boldly, and she says what she says without tact, and, and it's strong and stern, and it's, and it's filled and backed up by the Holy Ghost, it's all of that because the literature suggests the same thing. And so that's why a whole lot of people in the audience was mixed, but people still was clapping it down and amen it. Because they know that literature support it. So what we fighting here? I think y'all, the book y'all use, the most, we don't wrestle against flesh and blood. Powers and principalities and spiritual wickedness and things in high places. I forget how it go, but all of that. That's what you fighting. Stuff above folk. But you people is the people that make the decisions here. And so now if Daryl continues to sing and continues to get booked, that suggests a couple of things. Now there is either hypocrisy and um, bias in church, um, that these things exist, and if they do, then this kind of shines the light on that, because how could it be okay for one and not okay for all? How could it be okay by your literature? By y'all's doctrine, that he performs a ministry that's different. And I'm not saying that he shouldn't. I'm saying that y'all have to talk about that, though, because that's what this does. That's what this is. What about the people, the rest of the people, that we got to make exclusions and exceptions for? And why is it that we have to make these exceptions? Is it because this literature is outdated and it doesn't fit modern living today? And it's very difficult to put these expectations on people? Knowing that they can't live up to them and watching everybody fall for watching y'all say all the stupid stuff, y'all. Uh. Girl, somebody sent me something. I was looking at something else. Somebody sent me something, something, oh, crying and whining in the movie. He sent me some movie with him on YouTube. He whining and it's all about stuff. Oh, we need to pray. And all the bloggers is attacking the people that is attacking. No, nobody is attacking. And I was like, you know what? This is, this is, this is church. This is church, this is church for you. <clears throat> We're talking about the practicality, the realities of what we got here. And y'all talking, trying to deflect and point to something else. You don't know the emotional state that Daryl was in. And he could be suicidal and he just deleted his Instagram. This thing put that Instagram right back up there. I almost know. And he's the, that baby looked happy. Y'all y'all trying to paint a picture. He's not trying to paint. Y'all trying to talk about something. He's not trying to talk about. Y'all trying to make it something. He's not making it. You all speaking thing? No. Did that boy look happy? Okay. Did you see him busting and busting the boy down? Did you see him bust the boy down? Did you see him bust the boy down in the first video? Did you see him bust him down? And you gonna tell me that the boy going through all this struggle and all this stuff? And I, 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 I. No, it's the message that y'all continue to send about homosexuality. It's the message that you project to people about themselves before they even come into the identity of who they are. They are told that this is wrong. And they... Now have the struggle put there because the first thing that they knew about it is that it was wrong and a sin before God. And I, I, I. Now you've got an issue woven in and a blockage with them being able to express themselves. And so here we are. Here we are. Gay people going to be in the church. Gay people going to be in the church. And I really, 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 really hope that Daryl doesn't do... Like, you know, Daryl didn't say much about it the first time. And so now this time, like, there's a couple of things that I really hope that you do not do. I really hope that you don't you don't lie. Please have integrity concerning this matter. Have integrity around the situation. Ain't nobody trying to come for you. This is not about reading you. This is not about any of those things. Do you just right now just so happen to be collateral damage for the bigger situation at hand? You're just a, a face right now. But this is not really even about you. This is about more than that. Like, so when it comes to your part in the situation, please have some integrity with how you handle it. Please have some, and I mean, when I say integrity, I mean to your soul. Have integrity to your own soul, despite the noise and the things that you hear from other people. Trust what your soul guides you to, and what your soul guides you to do. First of all, you're doing that anyway. 
Continue to do that, young man. That's what this is. Now, that's when it comes to your part. So please have integrity around the way you handle it, how you speak about it. Please don't do that thing that we see so many people do is like when we this happens. It's like now they like their life kind of like it just we no longer ever see that aspect of their life. And it's like it's just hidden forever. And we all kind of know it, but it's not so all that kind of thing. Please don't do that. We already saw you have a healthy, seemingly a happy and healthy interaction with another man. Please continue to keep them healthy and happy. And don't let nothing make you feel like you can't display it or that you're not deserving of being able to display the same love that you, the, 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 the level of love that you see others display for one another. Please don't feel like you can't do that because it's same sex. No, yes, you can. And because you're in church. No, yes, you can. I, I'm saying it. No, you can do it. I'm just have I'm just hoping that you have enough courage to be able to walk it out. When you do your part, please do your part. Um in the church. Now you gotta do your part, bro. Now your part is different. That's this is what this is about. Your part is something completely different. You now if you make an exclusion for this young man, this is you it suggests hypocrisy, it just suggests a whole lot of things. Okay, biased and a lot of stuff. Now if you don't make an exclusion for him and he's does it mean that the church is well within their rights to do that because of the outlook on homosexuality? So that, and if Daryl willingly goes into that job and he cannot fulfill the moral expectation that that job has, is it then fair to be upset that he was fired from the job because not being able to fulfill the moral obligation? Like, I'm like, how do you work this out? Because that's what this is. Because if Daryl gets fired, John Gray can never be a pastor again. Like, if Daryl doesn't sing and make music, John Gray, this thing, these, y'all, it's over. He should never, ever, it can't happen no more. It's done, it's done, it's a wrap. Because if this thing could keep cheating on his wife, and keep telling me something about emotional this. The girl, I was just going through it. And you know, I never put my dick into this. I was just crying in the bitch here at night. And was whispering sweet nothings to the bitch. And she was there to listen to me. If you could do all that in my face, girl. You a con artist. And that's the thing that I don't like about you, Miss Thing. You are a con artist. You are a manipulator. You, it, it, to the people, intentionally, think smarter than them. I don't care nothing for you, girl. I don't care nothing for you. But if she could continue to get up and do the things she do, oh, baby, then Daryl can by all means continue to work in ministry. I think that that's fair. You guys need to make adjustments to your bylaws or to whatever that not whatever you got. Because, folks, the only thing you have is people not being honest about who they are. You don't have no Holy Ghost working through these people that these people is not who they are no more. They just lying to you and trying to act like that's not what they're doing or whatever so that they can continue to do whatever it is that they do there. And that's not fair to set them up for that kind of struggle. They're set up for losing and that's not fair. And so move it out of the way and you know that people can't live up to it because you all struggle behind the scenes. Right? And so what that means is come together, baby. And figure out a way to have some inclusion and stop and change that, that, that conversation about homosexuals. And change that conversation about all the things that y'all been saying. Because as long as the church has been there, the girls have been there too. Having to be scared and having to play on the organ and having to be in the choir and stuff like that. Some of them roles to be in the forefront and pastor churches and be archbishops or whatever the fuck y'all call that shit. And be all that shit. Some of the girls roles to, to high positions. Yes, that happened. But still, they still had to stay under wraps. And they were fucking around with each other and was, you know, hoping didn't nobody tell it with the adjutant and the members of the church over there. And got so bold sometimes they fucking their own people. That's people. That's people. My thing about all of it, it's been here since the beginning of time. And since the beginning of time, we have played with the kids. And we've made the kids now, see, because what you do is... It's usually someone that is already established. Work with me. It's usually someone that's already established that when these people fall, that they already have a platform. They're already in front of the eyes of thousands of people, right? When these people fall, and let's say these people fall into specifically homosexuality. I didn't want to say it like that. But, yeah. 
is how they look at it. But if these people fall here, these people usually can continue in ministry because they already have their platform. Usually y'all just come and cover them for a little bit. They take a sabbatical, then they return like nothing has happened and they move on. It's not that. It's the people that want to come and work in ministry that y'all don't let because they are openly gay coming in. They're not hiding it. There's no. They are walking in the door as who they are. Those are the people that don't really get that far. Because it's too much opposition and it's just too much. Because the literature, and you know the literature doesn't go along with it. And the traditions and all the other things. Doctrine just does not go along with it. And so, how do you fix this? Because we got to stop acting. We can't keep acting like it's not a thing. We need to fix it. We need to fix it. It needs not to be news that Daryl kissed a nigga. It needs not to be sickening, sensationalized that that happened. But I'm happy that it happened because it allows us to come together now and have this conversation. Because we can't deny that we love Daryl and what he puts out in his thing, and right? We can't deny that we appreciate what he gives us. We can't deny that. That we feel something and it's inspiring and motivational. Right? We can't deny it. And so because I don't support this. And now why don't I support this other thing? I don't support this other thing because I was taught... That homosexuality was wrong. And I was taught something. I was taught to hate this. I was taught that God hated it and it was detestable. I was taught that. And so with my teaching, because this is now how I see this. And it trumps all the things that we can't deny about him. Unfortunate. It's unfortunate. But that's human beings. And so we're because of the way that our mind is conditioned. Because if you didn't know it before, just because he let you see it now. Y'all still was accepting and receiving the gift that he gave unto you. Don't stop that. Don't go to acting stupid. And it goes to show you, and I'll use some of your own literature, that gifts come without repentance. And what God gave you, you ain't got to, the church ain't gave it to you. Your mammy ain't gave it to you. Ain't nobody gave it to you. It was divinely given to you. And you can operate it within any environment that you're in. And so that's the other thing that I want to make sure that is loud and clear in this video. Again, because I don't have a problem with Daryl. Because y'all said a lot of things in the comment section. And I was like, girl, fuck y'all. Ain't nobody mad at that boy. This is just talking points. Now, aside from that, I am an advocate for the LGBTQ community. I will always be an advocate for the girls. I will always be an advocate. I will always support. I will always support. So I don't care what environment that they are in. I'm going to support the people, person, my brothers and my sisters that get a hard time. That, that I'm going to support them, right? And so what that means is even when it comes to church, which I am not an advocate for, but because it has a group of people that want to be there, I say allow my brothers and sisters to do whatever they want to do in any environment freely and let them express whatever it is that they want to, is who they are freely, without judgment, without dirty looks, without a whole lot on it. That's what I'm saying. So from that last video, don't get it twisted because y'all was all in the comment section as if I was trying to out him. I literally was telling the story between them what happened. Yeah, I add my commentary because I can say what I want to say. But I never one time did I say that I was not for him being who he is. Oh, that's not the tea. I love it. And in fact, I encourage you to continue, Daryl, you to continue to do what you do, baby. I encourage. I don't care nothing about that dumb ass shit. That's my message. Any environment the kids are in, you let them be free. And so here I and this is where so this is where I am with the entire thing. I think that Daryl Walls is well within his right of being able to express who he is openly, despite judgment and dirty looks and statements and outdated thoughts um, from people that do the same exact thing, right? If not worse, if not that, then worse. Um, I think Daryl is. It's not about him. Again, I think that this is about the bigger picture, and we gonna we're gonna have young people that want to come to Christ. And does why does coming to Christ mean handing over your identity? Why does accepting the love of Jesus suggest that you no longer can be yourself and you no longer can be as you identify? And that you need to become something else or someone else. Why can't you just accept that love and that become the things and the thing that gives you hope and the things and the thing that gives you motivation? I think the church gets a bad rap sometimes because 
it tries to be in control and it tries to give the person an outcome instead of allowing the ebb and flow of life and the person's own choosing to be the answer and the result. And you have so many things about the way the church about church lifestyle that is about control and not about release, letting go, and acceptance. It's not about it's about trying to make it be what you want it to be. Trying to make it get the outcome you seek. And when it, whenever I hear that, and you going against the will of another individual, that sounds like manipulation and witchcraft to me. I don't care. I don't care who doing it. I don't care who tell you to do it. If you talk about some you praying that the homosexual spirit come over him, that's against that boy will. What if that man don't want that? And you you talk about some you gonna pray that he want all for his life. He don't want you to do that. He ain't ask you to do that. What are you talking about? That's subjective. And don't make it. And don't make me say something else, girl. Because ultimately, that really, that really makes the church look bad. All that trying to pray that demon or people and it don't work. That's just the church ain't even got no power. That power not real. Because it just don't work. And it just works for a select few like Donnie McGurk. Baby, so I'm just getting back from the judge's room, and when I tell you, it was a tough deliberation. Like, it was hard for me to figure out who who is awarded tonight's chop, honey. And, like, I mean, after, like, a lot of consideration, after looking at everybody that's involved in the situation, and I do want to say that I will be paying close attention to the next moves that are made because... I'm, it's all going to be political, and I just want to see how this whole thing unfolds and lands before our very eyes. But, you know, after a tough, tough time of looking at this, girl, Daryl, it's a chop, honey. I'm sorry, I got chop you this day. It's a chop, honey. No. What is you talking about? Something you posted this to your close friends and leads. What is you talking Didn't I tell you, put the sheet, get the sheet put it over your face. If you ain't want to be out in it, what is going on? Just keep making movies, girl. Just keep putting out a new movie, girl. If, if you don't want the girls to think that, then why you keep doing this? Like, oh my god, like, no, that's a chop, that's a, a chop for ignorance, bro. No. No. And that's, again, it just happened, like, not that long ago. It's a chop, Miss Thing. No, you need to figure out how to work your phone, girl. I don't know if you got a Galaxy. I don't know what you got. You need an iPhone. Well, that phone you got been betraying you. You couldn't pixelate it out or nothing like that. Oh my god. Caught again, red-handed. Uh, it's a child, bro. Ciao, Bella. Ciao, boy.